गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉइस ऑफ मालिंकी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट सेल सेल इंटरेक्शन एंड इफ यू आर न्यू इन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो सो बेसिकली देयर आर मेनी डिफरेंट वेज दैट सेल्स कैन कनेक्ट टू ईच अदर इंक्लूडिंग गैप जंक्शंस टाइट जंक्शंस एंड डेजमोजोम्स so we will talk about them one by one they are different like first is gap junctions gap junctions are basically channels or tubes that join two cells together so the core proteins of these channels are the connections so gap junctions are made up of connections proteins they allow for the transport of water and ions to and from the connecting cells these two cells are there the cytoplasm of these two cells are actually connected and water and ions are transported from cell 1 to cell 2 and vice versa like from cell 2 to cell 1 they help to spread electrochemical signals that are produced by action potentials that occur in the neurons and in cardiac cells so gap junctions are mainly found in cardiac cells and neurons where the cytoplasmic materials are exchanged between two or more cells in this way gap junctions work next is tight junction so cell membranes are connected but the contents of each cell are not connected you can see here two cells are there in between them we can see the tight junction so the name itself suggests you this is tight this is just like cementing two cells or sealing two cells and the cytoplasmic materials cannot be transferred from one cell to the other cell basically they form the intercellular barrier between cells which is required to stop particles from leaking across cells so water molecules or any other molecules cannot pass from here to here or here to here these cells are basically sealed together they serve as a structural support that helps keep the cells together so this is basically used to provide structural support to the cells next is desmosome so cell membranes are connected by thread like substances that connect the cells just like this like tight junctions desmosomes physically hold the cells together but do not allow fluids or materials to pass from the inside of one cell to the next so here also cytoplasmic materials will not be exchanged the space in between the cells allows for water and solutes to flow freely between each cell without compromising the connection so unlike tight junctions in desmosomes the solute particles or water can flow from this side to this side that was absent in tight junctions right because they were very much tight but here they are flexible they allow passage of materials from one side of the cell to the other side this is the difference okay now desmosomes anchor intermediate filaments to the plasma membrane so these are desmosomes this is the plasma membrane and in the cytoplasm 
intermediate filaments are there which are anchored to the plasma membrane and this structure basically creates a supracellular scaffold that provides mechanical strength to tissues. So the main function of desmosomes is to provide the mechanical strength to the tissues and it creates a tight scaffold in the cytosol. Why? Since they have intermediate filaments which are cytoskeletal structures that we all know. Okay, so this is all about today's lecture. I hope you liked the lecture. Thank you for watching my video.